Hi everybody, welcome to my iPhone 11 Pro charging port replacement video. Now I want you guys to pay very close attention to these tips that I'm gonna have right here on the screen for you. Be organized and take your time. If you stick with this strategy, you'll do just fine with this repair. All right, so first we're gonna wanna take off the uh, two screws right here on the bottom. All right, so we're just gonna speed this, uh, this part of the video just up a little bit because opening up the phone on this iPhone is the same exact thing as all the other iPhones. There's no different. You just blow heat around the edges to loosen the adhesive and I just open it with a little pry tool and I, I just basically, I use that gift card and then the screen just, you can open the screen just like that. So here's the insides of the iPhone 11 Pro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off three shields. There's gonna be that shield, and then there's a shield in the middle, and then there's a shield up on the top. Now pay close attention to how I take these shields and these screws out. You're gonna see how everything is gonna be organized. So this shield that I'm taking off right now, it's the battery connection. So see how I'm laying everything out? And then I'm gonna unplug the battery. But there's actually, there's two battery connections on this, um, on this iPhone, which is a first. So as you see, here's the shield on the bottom and the, this shield has four screws on it. And keep close attention to how I'm organizing everything out. And the, the shield with the, you see that one? And it goes just along the side, right there. So this next shield, so see there's a battery connection right there. That's the second battery. Now the battery is unplugged. Now this shield right here, it covers the screen connections. And there's six screws. And you see how I have this? I'm separating this away from the other shield and the screws. I'm being organized. You see how I'm laying the screws out as well. See, here's my six screw. You see how they're laid out? And then that shield goes right there, right next to it. And then I'm gonna unplug the screen connections. And then we're gonna put this screen to the side because there's no use for the screen right now because we're doing the charging port replacement. So we'll, we'll put this screen out of the way. And these right here is actually the uh, charging port connections. You're gonna unplug that and then you're gonna unplug this shield along on the side, which has two screws. And we're gonna lay it right next to the screws, just like that. As you see in the background, you see how everything's looking organized. So here we got three screws that we're gonna take out. And these screws, they're holding down the loudspeaker. So when you're, when somebody calls you and you hear the ringtone, it's coming out of this speaker. And right here is this big screw right there, big heavy screw. And then the uh, ear speaker lifts out. You unplug it too. It has its own like little pop connection. And there it goes right there. See how everything in the background is organized? So we're gonna take out next is we're gonna take out all these screws on the left. So here we go. Big screw coming up right here. And then a, another, a smaller screw. And then we're gonna take these on the bottom left corner, there's gonna be these three screws. And you have to take these out in order to take the vibration motor out. You see, there's a third screw. Then you can finally take out the vibration motor, as you'll see right here. 
first we're going to take off that shield right there. Remember, keep or keep your stuff organized. Then there's a little pop connection. And now you can take out the vibration motor. Here, we're going to set this with the screws that it goes with. Which is right there. So here we got, here's these three big screws right here. These heavy screws that are taken out with the flat, the, I don't know what you call this screwdriver, flathead. So there's this first one, there's a second one. Remember, keep organized. I want you guys to be organized. That's the whole trick to this whole thing. There's a third screw. These are like really big screws. So here we're gonna take out two more screws that are at the bottom of the port, of the charging port. They're actually screwed into the housing. So as you kind of see, I flipped the phone around because it's easier to get, to get the screws out this way. See, there's two screws right there. Remember, be organized. As you can see in the background, everything is organized. Then we have these two random screws on the sides, one on the left and one on the very right. And once again, these are screwed into the metal frame of the housing. So I put this screw all the way on the side because they're little random screws. And then there's one over here. And we're almost done taking out all the screws of this whole thing. So here, you're, we're pretty much at the midway point right now. I'm just taking pictures of how this whole thing looks right here. But one thing I did forget, which I, I catch right here, I notice. You'll see it just a bit. There's one random screw that was hiding underneath. It goes underneath the loudspeaker. So I'm gonna put this screw close to where the loudspeaker is at and it goes right there. So basically all the screws are finally out and then this charging port will lift out like this. You, blow, you can blow heat on there, that's how I got it out. And then there's the whole charging port unit. Now, as you see, there's more connections in there because the vibration motor gets connected in there. The actual wireless charging connection gets plugged into there. The battery gets connected into there. The loudspeaker also gets connected into the charging port. So as you see, if you guys wanted to pause this video in the background, everything is organized. You have the little shields and the screws that go along with the shields. So now we're just working in reverse. So we're gonna start off putting these two long screws at the very bottom, just like this. They go right into where the charging port is at. And then remember the two random screws that go on the sides into that are screwed into the housing? That's what I'm doing right here. And then these three big screws right here. And you align, you're gonna have to do this too. You're gonna have to align the screw holes. It makes the screws easier to fit. So we got one, one of these big screws. These screws are actually hard to put in. They're kind of heavy for the magnetic screwdriver. 
they're they're also they're kind of a little bit of pain to screw in. The reason is because they keep slipping off of the screwdriver. That's why I had trouble putting these screws in. And then here, as you see, this little thing right here flips over. I just wanted to show that to you guys. It goes and it kind of sits in there. So here we got the vibration motor. And then we're going to put the two screws that go along with that. There's another big screw right there, as you guys see. And then the screw on the side with it. And then remember this shield right here? It has the three screws right in the left corner of the phone. You align all the little screw holes here. See the little three screw holes right there? Align them up. It makes it easier when you're putting these screws in. So we got the first screw. And then here we got the second screw. Now I flipped the phone around because it was just, it was easier to film so you can see and it just, it was. And then here's the third screw right here. And that right there is a loudspeaker. And then, so here, remember the random final screw that we took out before we lifted the port out? We're gonna do this now. See that screw right there, the little hidden screw that's underneath the, uh, the loudspeaker? So now we're gonna put in the loudspeaker. And then we're gonna put in these three screws that hold the loudspeaker down. There's the second one. And then we got this last big jumbo screw right here. And then we can um, start plugging some of this stuff back in. See the loudspeaker? Plug that in, plug the wireless charging. The wireless charging cable is actually, it runs underneath the battery, but you don't take the battery out doing this. You just leave it right in there. Okay, so we're connecting the actual charging port in right here. It's connecting, it connects right into the motherboard. And then we got this shield right here. Remember this long shield? And then the two screws that go along with it. put that in right there and then we put the screen back in the charging port thing is it's that area is done but now we got to put the screen back in now so we're gonna start with the actual screen connections plug those in And then we're gonna put this shield in. You see how you guys, how I have everything is organized? It makes everything easier when you're putting the screws back. Just align all the screw holes up and then put the six screws right back in. There's a second one. Here's the third one. Here's the fourth one. So as you guys are watching this, as you guys can see, this thing is totally doable. Just take your time doing this. It actually took me about 45 minutes to do this on my first try.
So that shield is connected now. Now we have the battery. We're gonna plug in the bottom battery connection and the shield that covers that section. See how there's four screws there? So we place the shield here. You align the screw holes, just how I'm showing this, like that. Once again, it makes it easier to put the screws back in. Otherwise, the screws, they end up like falling off of the screwdriver. It's just easier to put everything back in. So we got the third screw right there. And then we got the fourth screw right here. Well, now, now this is the fourth screw. I kind of jumped ahead a little bit. So the final thing is the actual battery connection, the second battery connection. Remember, this battery actually has two wires that come out of the battery. And then this shield, which has two screws. There's one screw and then there's two, the second last screw that's coming up. Now I know you guys can always stop, press stop and rewind this video just to capture, you know, anything. But there as you see, every single screw is in there. They're all in the right spot. Everything was fitted in perfect. You just close up the screen and then the final two screws that go on the bottom right there and you plug it in just like this boom there you go all right thank you guys for watching this video please do me a favor if this video helps you out in any way please leave a like on this video or drop a comment in the section down below I pretty much answer almost everybody Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.